When the market shifts and agents are becoming lazy and complacent, if you want to build momentum right now, the basics are key. That's what's going to separate you apart. If you're approaching real estate right now like you did last year, sooner rather than later, you're going to be in some pretty hot water. I'm going to break down the five things that you need to focus on right now in order to thrive during these crazy times where interest rates are all over the map, the economy is on edge, and this is the best time to be a real estate agent if you follow the five things that I'm going to break down for you. If you don't know my story, I got started in one of the most difficult markets in North America. So I've got experience building a top producing business during these times of uncertainty. And I want to see you win, thrive and build mass momentum while so many other agents are going to mentally and physically check out. This is your time in order to separate the gap. And if you didn't have a good last year, previous year, or even start of this year, you still have an opportunity to completely change your trajectory and I'm going to show you exactly how. So without further ado, let's dive in. Okay. So number three to five are going to be really important, but it all starts with number one, coming down to mindset. This is a time where mindset is imperative. There's so many people that are going to say, well, 87% of agents fail because of X, Y, and Z. They don't have the right training. They don't have the right tools. They don't have the right this. It's complete BS. The number one reason why real estate agents fail is because of mindset. I've almost never met a real estate agent and keep in mind, I've trained thousands every single year that does not know what they need to do. Every agent knows what they need to do. The issue is, is that they are not doing it. And that all stems from mindset that comes down to things like discipline, putting things in your schedule and actually following through with it. You know, you need to prospect. So put in three hours a day or two hours a day, three to five days a week. The issue is, is most people don't follow through with the prospecting when they know they need to be doing it or putting out content. Everybody knows they need to be putting out video content and they will block off some sort of time this weekend, next week, whenever it is in order to create content and guess what they don't do when that time rolls around, create content. They'd rather go for a meeting with a lender, a lawyer, a title rep, somebody else as an excuse to feel productive, but not actually doing the things that they know they need to do in order to get clients. Mindset is the number one thing that you need to be working on in terms of discipline, consistency, and making sure that you're following through with the commitments that you make to yourself, that when you say you're going to do something, you actually follow through with it. When we're looking at this market that we're in right now, agents are either mentally checking out or physically checking out. Physically checking out, meaning they're removing their license from the industry, which means that there's less competition, or mentally checking out, meaning they still have an active real estate license, but they're not putting in the same effort or any effort into the growth of the business. So they are essentially also checked out, meaning that it is even more of an opportunity for you to scale your business because they too are no longer competition. So if you can start to work in your mindset and you can start to fulfill the promises you make to yourself, build up momentum by always having this self-discipline and again, being consistent with the simple activities, you will build a thriving business during these times of uncertainty. Number two, one that not many people are going to expect for me to be saying, and one that nobody wants to hear, which is traditional prospecting. When so many agents are checking out, it leaves a wide open door for you to be able to put the boots on the ground and do what they're not willing to do in order to start to get clients and clients that they might have known before. Because when we look at things like 0809, well, 60% of agents either mentally or physically checked out of the business. Well, where did the clients in the 60% go? They went to the 40% that weathered the storm. Well, when I got started in real estate, again, during a market where only 27% of the listings were selling, keeping in mind, this is still a very good market. I went on door knocked. I door knocked for three hours a day, seven days a week for the first six months. Did it suck? Yes. Was it enjoyable? No, but I do have a video on how to get inside of your fear and actually learn to love prospecting. If you want that video, drop a comment and I'll gladly send it to you. It honestly will change your business forever, but either which way, it was a really great opportunity for me to do the things that I know nobody else was going to be doing in this market because everybody's complacent. They're fearful. They're worrying about all the headlines or what's going to happen in the market. And I was out there building momentum, adding contacts every single day, 
to my database. So if you want to build momentum right now, the basics are key. That's what's gonna separate you apart. Yes, we're gonna get into some of the more modern strategies in a second here, but the traditional strategies hold a lot of weight, especially when you look at cold calling, bizbos, expireds, REOs, there's going to be more of them. And that's going to be an opportunity for you to brush up on your scripts and target some of those avenues of low hanging fruit when it comes to lead generation. But ultimately, when the market shifts and agents are becoming lazy and complacent, this is the time to double down on the things that they're not willing to do like traditional prospecting. Number three is the number one thing you need to focus on right now. This will completely change your business and it's what nobody else is doing, which is nurturing. Over the last couple of years, if you were a licensed agent, you would have seen that properties were flying off the shelves. $200,000 of a list price in like 10 minutes. Also, if somebody wanted to buy or sell, they were doing it now. They weren't waiting six months or eight months or 12 months. They were doing it right now because of the inventory issue and because the market was hotter than anything. So what happened is you didn't really need to nurture leads as much because if you got a lead that was warm, they were gonna buy. And if you didn't get a lead that was warm and they were cold, you could almost get away with just saying, hey, you know, screw it. I'm gonna go get more hot leads with people that are ready to pull the trigger now because almost everybody wanted to pull the trigger now if they were in the mindset of buying or selling times have changed so the name of the game right now is going to be how well and how long can you nurture your database so you're going to come across a lot more people that are saying hey i want to wait for interest rates to reduce i want to wait for pricing to maybe go up go down go sideways wherever but they're looking for change they're looking for stability and not many people are finding it so they want to wait and over the past a lot of agents were used to people taking immediate action well now you're going to have to embrace delayed gratification and focus on nurturing sending things like monthly market reports sending value-driven data that you are able to help educate them as the journey is going on because the ones that are going to win during these shifting times are going to be the ones that are saying hey no problem i understand you might not want to buy right now or sell right now let me keep you in the loop and when the time is right then we can open up that discussion again and now it's going to be the long game because what's going to happen is a lot of the leads you're going to generate are going to want to buy in 8, 12, 18, 24 months from now. Well, who are they going to work with when that time comes? The agent that is top of mind. And if you don't properly nurture them on a monthly basis, somebody else is going to get that client instead of you. So this is one thing you really need to focus on is making sure that you're nurturing and following up and over delivering on value and educating your clients, which leads into number four. Number four is gonna be educating and leading with value. The educational component is so, so important. And this is where it boils down to things like leveraging YouTube. If you want to know how to rank your videos number one and attract clients to turn into closed deals every single month, like hundreds of agents have shown how to do that, then just drop a comment below and just say free training. I'll gladly give you my free brand new social media training for 2023. I'll gladly give you my free social media training showing you how to attract clients at scale on autopilot using nothing but an iPhone and free videos. But either which way, educating is going to be so important. So one of the videos that's working incredibly well right now, more so than it has in the past, are going to be monthly market updates. It's a great way for you to demonstrate your knowledge and experience because there's all these headlines going out by articles and publications of fear tactics and they're talking about how scary the market is but when you actually dive into the data in a video it's a really great way for you to control the narrative and be able to enlighten them and educate them based on the reality of things and how this data can be tailored toward making a purchase decision or making a selling decision but you now control the narrative and that's a very powerful position to be in not only that but as the market starts to get a little bit crazy a lot more people relocate. So putting up the pillar videos about relocation is going to be a great way for you to educate your clients. If they're looking to move to your market, relocation videos. If they're in your market, market update videos. These are the two videos that are going to build a massive momentum right now. And again, it all boils down to how much can you educate people? Because as times are shifting, people are now looking for the more experienced agent, the agent with the most knowledge. Now that does not mean the most years in the industry, but it means the one that is brushing up on the data because this allows you to answer in a very educated and well-versed way for any of the questions that your 
clients have about your market. And number five, communication. Now, let me explain. Whenever I was an agent in this very difficult market years ago, the number one thing that I did was sell properties that other agents weren't able to sell. Terminated, expired listings, all of those kinds of problems. Well, I would always ask clients, why did things not work out with your past agent? Now, of course, we know the obvious. Sometimes the photos were trash or they didn't put any effort into it or uploaded to the MLS and just let it become a sitting duck. But the number one response was they were terrible at communication. They left me in the dark. They didn't follow up. They didn't let me know how showing feedback was going. They didn't keep me in the loop with what's happening with other listings that are comparables. That was the number one thing that people said they had issues with, which is why they terminated their past agent or they let it expire and did not renew that listing. So communication is going to be so important because again, in the past, properties were selling super quick. You didn't have to keep them updated on a weekly basis with what was happening all the time because their properties sold like the first couple of days, if not the first day with multiple offers that it was on the market. Well, times are changing. Properties are sitting for one month, two months, and every single week you need to be educating your client, communicating with them and helping them understand what is happening, which properties are just listed that are now competing against them, which ones just sold, which had a price reduction, which ones are terminated or expired and making sure that they are always in the loop because they will terminate with you if they feel like you're leaving them in the dark and not communicating. But more importantly, if you start to build a name and a reputation for yourself as the one that is a strong communicator and always keeping your clients in the loop, then you're going to be the one that's going to be cleaning up the damage that the complacent agents were doing that weren't able to get the job done. So these are the five things that I use personally in order to thrive and build a top producing business during one of the most difficult markets in North America. And I know that if you apply them too, it can make a world of a difference. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.